Hey everybody, welcome to Chic on the Cheap. First of all, sorry I haven't posted in so long. <laughs> I now have a three-year-old, a two-year-old, and an eight-month-old, so my time to do all my projects and tape and edit is limited to simultaneous nap times in the afternoon and in the evenings after they're all asleep. So I'm still trying to figure out how I can still do this with the schedule I have. So, you have to be patient with me, but I do have some exciting projects to share with you. Uh, the first one that I like to tell you about is uh, actually a lettering project for your wall. I don't know if you're like me, but I like the, the printed letters that you can put on your wall that say quotes or verses or whatever, but one, sometimes they can be expensive, and two, it's hard to find something custom uh, to yourself that you really like. So I decided to try to come up with a way that you could put your own lettering on the wall as a decoration with things that you have around the house and make it customizable to your personal taste. So check it out. So first I went on the computer and I just kind of typed out the font and the saying that I wanted on the wall. I have a verse that I really liked so I typed that out and I just did this in a computer program. I just put a bunch of different fonts together until I liked the way it looked and then I enlarged it on my computer and I printed it out on three separate pieces of computer paper. Next, I just used wax paper, the kind you use in your kitchen that you can get real cheap at Walmart. I took some of that out and I just traced over, uh, I put the wax paper over my computer paper printout and then with a Sharpie, and a Sharpie works the best, I traced over the outlines of my letter. Uh, my letter, excuse me. So after that, I turned the wax paper over and I took a soft graphite pencil, something with a high HB or just a soft lead, and I just gave it a real good scribble on the back side of every line that I had created, that I had traced. After that, I turned it over and I taped it onto the wall where I wanted it to, to be when I was done. And you want to make sure you have it in the right place, so tape it up good and make sure it's in the right place. So make sure you have it taped really well to the wall, wherever you want it to hang. And from there, you're going to take a pen, just a ballpoint pen, and it doesn't even matter if it marks on the wax paper. All you need to do is press really hard on all of the lines of the letters. You're just tracing it onto the wall and giving yourself a guide to actually ink it in onto the wall. So do that through for all of your letters. Take off the guide, and when you're done, you should have a very light uh, rendering of the words that you can trace. So from here, you're going to actually go in with a nice pen, and I used an art pen that had kind of a, a brush tip almost, and that worked really well. You could also use a fine tip Sharpie. That might be a little bit harder to do. And then uh, from there, you're going to trace all your letters until you have everything traced. And then to go back and fill in the larger letters, I actually used an acrylic paint. I took a fine tip paint brush and just filled in all my letters. So here's the final look, and the thing that I really love about this is it's really customizable. Uh, like I said, the hardest thing about putting words on your walls is that you can't always find the thing that you want it to say. And for me it was a verse, for you it might be your kid's name in their room, or words in your kitchen, or your living room, could be the last name of your family. Uh, whatever you'd like to do, it's, it's really easy and customizable. I will tell you, this is a labor of love. It's not easy because you're going to have to trace everything about three times. Just, just keep telling yourself, this is free, this is free, this is free. <laughs> so uh, that's my Chic on the Cheap project for this week. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. That really helps me out. And I will be back soon with another project for you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.